join with me in this mini game that I like to call Capturing the Keep. The goal of this game is to capture as many keeps as you can in one round. Capturing a keep follows the same rules as capturing a mage tower, so this is very similar to the mini game called Mage Tower Madness. It's easiest to play this mini game in the daytime, but you can try it at nighttime as well. You can use whichever tiles you wish, but in this game I have chosen to use 3, 9, and 10 because they all have keeps. Our hero starts on the portal of tile A. Take all the other tiles, shuffle them, and place them in a stack face down. When you're ready, move to the edge of the first tile and spend two movement points to reveal the next tile. Place a keep token face down on the keep. When you can, move adjacent to the keep. In the daytime, when you move adjacent to the keep, turn it over, and now you can see the abilities of the defenders. You do not need to attack or assault the keep, and the defenders will not attack you even if you move adjacent to the keep. To begin an assault or an attack on the keep, move into the space of the keep. At night time, the keep is not turned face up when you're adjacent to the keep. You must assault the keep in order to see the abilities of the defenders. In this minigame, we're not actually tracking reputation, but in the real game, if you assault a keep, you will lose one reputation. If you're not ready to assault the keep, you can continue to move and explore tiles until you are ready to assault a keep. Both keeps and mage towers are fortified, which means that all defenders in the keep or the tower are fortified, and that means that you cannot attack them with range weapons. You can only attack them with siege weapons in the range and siege attack phase. If a defender is fortified, that means they are doubly fortified, and you cannot attack this defender in the range and siege attack phase at all. When you're ready, move into the space of a keep and try to conquer it. How did your attack go? If you failed to defeat the defender, you must return to the space where you came from, and you still lose that one point of reputation. If you defeated the defender, you get the fame for defeating the enemy, but you also capture the keep, and you put your hero symbol on that site. Since you now own that keep, you are the only one that can recruit soldiers from that keep. If you end your turn next to a keep, your hand limit is temporarily increased by one for each keep that you own. Now that you've conquered the keep, move to the end of turn phase. At the end of your turn, you should take all mana die, re-roll them, and place them back in the source. Any mana tokens that you've used, you should put back in the bank. Then you take all of your cards and discard them. Apply any effects that occurred during your turn, such as increasing your fame or reputation, and when you reach the end of a fame track, you can level up. The final thing that you need to do is draw cards up to your hand limit. Continue playing until you've conquered all of the keeps or you've reached the end of round.